Okay friends, it's time to get started on replacing your EVAP vent solenoid. Firstly, we're going to find it. It's located right in front of your fuel tank on your vapor canister. Look at it right here. You'll find one electrical connector and then a hose that's located on it. Remove them both. To remove the wiring, there's a little squeeze tab. Squeeze it and draw it off. Inspect it. Make sure you don't see any funny colors. Assuming it looks good, set it aside. Next, we're going to remove the hose right here. Typically, you can just work your way around it. It should slide right off. The next thing I would want to do is start to unbolt it from the vapor canister itself. You're going to find one mounting bolt right here and then one located right up on top in the same location. Typically, those are going to strip out. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and come right up inside here and remove the center bolt that holds the canister up. These are typically very rusted. Use some penetrant. Now I'll just grab onto it. I'm going to slide it towards the passenger side. Now we can bring it down so we can work on it. You're definitely going to want to spray these down with some penetrant. Once you have it on there and you've let it sit for a little while, continue on trying to use a Torx bit to remove each of the screws. If they don't work, try using some locking pliers. If your bolts seem like they're stripping out, the next thing that you're going to want to try is a socket that looks like this. This is a twisty socket and essentially the more that I turn this to the left, the more it's going to grip onto the head of my screw. Just line it up on there. Slowly try to turn it. All right, there's one. Let's do the same to the other. Nice. With both of those off of there, I'm gonna grab onto this, give it a nice wiggle. There it is, friends. Now the next thing we wanna do is take a nice clean rag and clean out this inner port right here. Just make sure there's no debris that's gonna fall inside. Now we'll just apply a little bit of copper never seize or even some penetrant to our threaded holes right here. Now it's gonna be time to put on our new vent valve. It's gonna take it. It's a good idea to put a little bit of lubricant right on that seal. That'll help it slide right in. Line up your bolt holes, start in your new bolts. Okay. Okay, got it bottomed out. Let's go a teeny bit more. Do the same to the other. Bottomed out. Let's make sure we put some penetrant or copper never seize on our mounting bolt hole up here. Now let's get ready to put our charcoal canister back up. You've got your little hooky do area here. You want to make sure it fits into the slot on the canister itself. Now we'll come up to the front. We'll line up our bolt hole, start it in, and snug it up. Okay, bottomed out, teeny bit more. Now we'll get our hose on there. Time for the electrical wiring. Listen for a click, give it a nice tug, make sure it's secure. Double check all of your hoses and lines, make sure nothing's hanging around where it shouldn't be. All right, go ahead and get out from under the car, start it up, make sure you don't have a check engine light. 